The Christians didn't arrive from the west to the east. We are originally from Iran. Our church is an apostolic church. It's from the first century. We are here before also the arrival of Muslims. The Christians helped the Muslims when they came to Iraq, and we were very welcoming of the Muslims who arrived. Now they consider us a minority, which is very painful actually explanation to describe a community, and they consider us foreigners. The history of Christianity in Middle East is always the history of persecution. This is not the first century that the Christians in the Middle East are suffering. We are aware that uh, this is a dedicated moment in the history of Christianity in the Middle East. The Middle East is burning with so many crises. Some of the people have said that the Middle East uh, have enough of crisis and they don't like to see another one. So many Christian, 13 villages, Christian villages were actually displaced from their historical places. They left everything, houses, uh, jobs, works actually, and the churches, monasteries. The church is the only one who is working with the refugees, trying to find uh, uh, all the materials, food, and other things for these people. According to the information that we have now, between 12 to 15 families every day are leaving the country. Internal refugees is more difficult for them because if you are a refugee inside the country, it's a horrifying experience that you are in your country, but you don't have access to a decent life. We now the emergency of the winter, which is approaching very quickly and people cannot stay in tents or uh, even in worse conditions. So we must find a better uh, place, a better uh, uh, shelter. There is a, a plan to move families from living in a tent and put them in a decent house. Yes, it's not furnished, it's not five stars, but at least there is a shelter. Winter is coming, it's a very severe winter, at least the church in need and the benefactors have helped those people to live in a decent house. I must say uh, that our priests and sisters were wonderful people. They were very close to the people, they were there, and uh, the priests spent hours with the, with the people listening, helping, distributing food, cleaning toilets, doing all the job. Come in here, salamat. Yeah, I was in Karakosh in my house before the ISIS came. And before, before they sent us uh, by, by trucks to the, to the Erbil uh, border, they pit, they pit us. My question was, who pit you? And they say, I don't know him. I just only know they, are, they got a lot, a long uh, beer. With a sort of Islam, and he say, This is the last warning to you. If we see you again here, you will be killed. Or if you, if you convert to Muslim, you can stay. Yeah. I just passed three times, three bombs. One time they blew up my church, one time they attacked during the mass with five motorellas, five missiles during the mass. One time I got shot in my leg. One time I been kidnapped. Still I just say, I'm lucky. Confirm with the people, they can tell now. Talk about them story because maybe they are passed away or got trauma. <laughs> When the human can do nothing and at this complicated uh, things, we uh, have the uh, 
I hope uh, just in God. The Christian community is very significant community for the whole of Iraq because Christians have actually no political ambitions in any way of, uh, of the sense. We work under the law and we are very good citizens. We are very good workers. We are very good actually and well-educated people. We have schools, hospitals, we have churches and we promote liberty, uh, democracy. So other communities trying to use the Christians as a bridge it's very important for the Western countries to do their best to find a solution, otherwise we will empty the Middle East of Christians, where they were born, Christianity was born here, we, we should not forget this.